as schools await further guidelines from the state but begin to prepare for optional mask wearing come March 7th. Yet another decision Governor Murphy left up to school districts to decide, a choice that received mixed reaction when announced, which is why some districts are now polling families before final decisions are made. Joanna Gagas reports. 62% of parents and staff said that they wanted to continue the use of masks. Almost 70% of, of parents were, were saying they, they don't want to be mandated uh, for their kids to wear masks in schools. Both Patterson and Secaucus school districts surveyed their staff and families as they considered whether to keep masks in schools when the statewide mandate ends on March 7th. They got widely different responses. We made the decision last Thursday to make masks optional based on that data. Also, obviously informed by the very low numbers that we have in district and county state. We looked at what our vaccination rates are. We looked at what our uh, positivity rate is uh, in the district, which has been coming down significantly. And then we made our recommendation to continue masks until after spring break. Not all districts surveyed their communities before making a decision. Some superintendents decided that masks would end with the state mandate. Others immediately announced masks would continue after March 7th. Sea Caucus mom of two, Monica Burkus, has long advocated for masks to come off. No social distancing. None of this contact tracing going on anymore. Absolutely not a test to stay. I'd like lunchroom to be restored to complete capacity and complete normal. Uh, I'd like activities where, uh, whether it be general assemblies and all of it, where the, 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 the pieces of paper on the seats are removed to maintain social distancing. These children should have a complete return to normalcy. But others have been critical over the governor's decision to end the mask mandate in schools because the CDC and the American Academy of Pediatrics still recommend masking in schools. Still others say it allows districts to reflect the desires of their communities. New Jersey is a very, uh, very big state on local control and um, this puts that control back in the hands of the districts. If you call one random district in this state and ask if their parents are and their and their staff even are in favor of masks, you'll get one answer. If you call one, you know, 100 miles away, you'll get a completely different answer. And so if we are at the point where we're going to start truly living with COVID in the endemic phase of this, then putting that control back to superintendents um, may be the best way to do that. Do you believe that Districts are, are going to find themselves in a quandary of sorts if masks are removed, but quarantine policies and, and guidance have not updated from the state. Absolutely. If masks are removed and if the guidance means that you would need to quarantine an entire class, if you can't maintain six feet, then a lot of schools will wind up staying with masks or they will make decisions independently to go against the guidance and not not do contact tracing or not quarantine. We're still waiting uh, for clear guidance from the New Jersey Department of Health on how to quarantine these students now. Are they still going to have to wear a mask? Say we, we, we kind of reverted back to the five days of quarantine for a positive case. Five days they would have to wear a tight fitting mask indoors and outdoors. Is that still the case now that masks are optional? The Department of Health has said the new guidance will be released later this week, though no word yet on what will change. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Joanna Gagas.